Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of the Rainbow Coloured Solar System Remastered. So if you remember last episode definitely go ahead and check it out if you have not seen it but yeah we added all of our, these outer objects from the turquoise all the way out to the white um, object at the very end here. So yeah, we've got a load of progress done. And yeah, today we're going to be doing the last few colours. And then we're going to be starting to add the cosmetics, the rings, stuff like that. So with that all out of the way, guys, just a massive thank you as always for um, hitting the like goals. As I'm really on those at the moment. So yeah, just a huge thanks for that. Um, and yeah, let's begin. So yeah, we finished off with the white one. But yeah, before I get started on adding new stuff, I'm going to go to some of the suggestions and feedback that um, you guys left. So someone said, um, yeah, Vincent G here. They said rename the fittiness Penguin World or Antarctic Earth. So which one was it? I think it was this one here. So yeah, rename it um, something. So yeah, get a custom name in here. Why not? So um, right, so the Penguin World. Let's go ahead and um, get that in there. So yeah, here we go. And let's just, there we go. Nicely done. And then give it some capital letters. There we go. Make it look a little better. Um, like so, there we go, done. Right, and then the second person says, if we go ahead and find that comment as well. So they said... Um, for the black object we add, do trays 2B. And yeah, good good suggestion. Yeah, we can do that. So once um, we do the grey object next, we'll do we'll add the um, black one in um, after that. So yeah, now we've got all the suggestions out of the way. That's all the only ones I could see there. Just um, skimming through the other ones, seeing if there was um, any other um, suggestions. But yeah, I think those are the only two I saw. And I believe they still are. Oh, and add, add moons and an asteroid belt. Maybe rings on the cyan one. So where are we here? So I won't add them yet, but um, I've got that noted. So yeah, we need to add rings to this guy. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, now we're going to move on and start adding some new stuff. So we're going to head to the grey object now. So in theory, that could be a very simple um, object. We could simply just have a a dwarf planet. Just a greyed out dwarf planet. So that should be quite a, um, a simple one there. So now that loading lag is out of the way. Let's go have a random moon. We'll just have it as a dwarf-like object. Um, we could have it sort of in the white or further out than the white. Let's have it sort of like inwards and have it like tilted as well. So there we go. And then here it is here. So this will be our grey object. So obviously we need to give it the necessary um, items here. So it's going to have a greyed out atmosphere. Um, interface, we want grey. Obviously we need to add the atmosphere first as well. And yeah, this will be like a small atmosphere dwarf planet. So sort of like Pluto um, in a way then. Um, so the atmosphere will go something very, very small. Just nothing really too large there. Very simple atmosphere. So then we need to close the menu and then reopen it. And that should hopefully allow us to customise the atmosphere. Yep, there we go. So let's add that atmosphere on. Let's zoom into it as well. So here it is. Right, so there is a grey atmosphere. You can see it on there. So now we just need to add the colours. And make it very, very basic looking as that's all it needs to be. So there we go. Remove all that water. And there you go. So simple as that, nice, nice and simple. We don't need to go too complicated. It's almost like a mercury replica now of like the grey on it. So we don't want to make it too bright in colour. So it's like a darker sort of. There we go. So that's like a grey, um, a grey colour there. So there we go. So we've gone from pink to white to grey. So then obviously the trail colour that's going to be quite hard to make look different than the white one. But yeah, there we go. So that's grey. Right, awesome. Now we can get onto the suggestions. So we're going to go ahead and insert the trays to be here. So we're going to place that further out, obviously. So we're going to pull it. Pull it quite far out. So this will be one of the last objects. The only one after this is the brown one, I believe. So yeah, there we go. Then we pretty much got all of the main colours done from the um, Coloured Solar System series. So here it is. So Trays 2B, all blacked out gas giant already. We do not need to um, edit this in any way. It's already got all of the custom settings that we need. So yeah, there we go. That is that done. So let's just check that. Trail colour is visible. Okay, so very, very dark as we can see. Um, let's try and make the grey one a little lighter so there's some difference between them as well. So yeah, there we go. So it's darker than the white one, but lighter than Trays 2B over here. So yeah, there we go. So that is Trays 2B added. It's already on like a tilted orbit. All right, so the last object we need is a brown one now. So let's see if I've got any uh, templates I could uh, use for that. Um, I think I'll go over Rocky um, Planet for this as well. I think that'd be quite cool. So right, we need a brownish colored one. What could look good there? I'm thinking maybe another gas giant, actually. So yeah, where are we here? What, what could I use? Any templates that catch my eye? Um, which would look good to sort of build off. So maybe I could just go with um, a simple old gas giant and just recustomize it, make it look good. So do a little more gas giant customization. So where are we? Um, I just go, yeah, I just go with one of the simple old templates and we'll build off it. So right here are the old templates. So here we'll use the dark orange since that's already a fairly um, decent color there. So I'll, I'll just place it out here for now. So we've got an outer gas giant here. I wonder if it even still really receives light at this distance. So where are we here? So no, it's it's. 
there's a tiny bit of light there. Let's, uh, let's decrease this orbit a bit so we can try and get some sunlight here. It takes 1,800 years. So, guys, I lower it. You can see it um, is starting to get light again um, from the start. It's still um, a little closer than Trey's, or a little um, too close to Trey's. So we're going to lower Trey's a bit like that. There we go. So now there's a decent distance between those guys, and this one is receiving a bit of sunlight now. So it's not completely... Um, darkened out now so now we want to head to the appearance and then we're gonna we're gonna double its bands up add a little more to it make it a little more interesting obviously the interface we're gonna want is a brownish orange so we're gonna want something around this area here and then a more of a brownish color there we go so if we zoom out that is definitely a brown color um if i haven't seen one so yeah there we go right so now we just need to add to the colors so let's do this so we're gonna want yeah the sort of same sort of um shades of orange here so we're gonna want these this sort of color here and let's, um, let's just see what we end up with. Just I'll just input random colours to begin with. Random different shades of like um, brownish here. And we'll just see um, sort of what um, we end up with. So it could come give us quite a, a Jupiter Saturn looking sort of gas giant with its colours. So we just have to um, see how that um, plans out. So yeah, there we go. So that's um, looking interesting so far. Um, then yeah, we can get those colours. So there we go. Right, and then after that we can start to put a little more customization, Make them look a little more unique as well. I'm going to switch it to flashlight so we can actually see what we're doing. So that's what we've got so far. So some of them are still looking a little too yellow um, for my liking. So I'm definitely going to give those a recustomize. So there we go. So that's um, we can build off this now. And then we simply just need to darken these orange bands. There we go. Get them all the correct color there. And there we go. So we've got like more of a brownish look to it. There we go. So we could have some more um, mud looking browns. We could have more of a grayish brown in there. We could really have some different sort of color variations here. So yeah, there we go. That's looking good. We've got a few. You can see there's a few different mixes of uh, brown in there as well. So there we go. Quite a hard colour to sort of um, get in here, but yeah, there we go. So that's looking fairly interesting. So there we go. Just a all, all different bands, all different colours in there, so they can all blend nicely together um, with the final product. So yeah, there we go. This colour I'm not a fan of, so we're gonna slightly darken it. A little more of the brownish colour there. A little too red for my liking. There we go. So that's um, what we have came up with now. This is a little, uh, little bit more in there. So I don't, I don't want the bands to be too different, but yeah, there you go. So it's more of like a generic sort of like darkish exoplanet looking sort of gas giant there. So it's sort of like maybe you'd see in Space Engine, one of the sort of brown sort of gas giants they've got there. I mean, I could like lighten up some of the colors to um, make it slightly more interesting because I have like a creamy sort of brown in there as well. So if I just uh, lighten the colors, so it's almost like a coffee sort of brown. Um, is what I'm getting from this. So there we go. So let's just make a few of the colors slightly lighter. We don't want to make them too, too bright now, but we can have sort of a different mix of colors um, in here. So there we go. I want to slightly darken that one again. There we go. So we've got like a nice mix, like a chocolate coffee sort of brown going on now. The South Pole, I'm going to make a little brighter as well. There we go. Just uh, add a little more uniqueness um, to it um, as well. So yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking this. Looking good. Well, that's way too yellow. No, no, no way. Right, so there we go. So how are we doing? Just trying to get that right. We could have like a darker sort of brown at the bottom there. So there we are. Looking good. I'm liking this. So there we go. All right. I think I'm going to... Oh, no. Definitely not that green at the top. That doesn't... Like, like yellowish, brownish color there. So we go. So we've got a few darker shades of brown. We've got some lighter coffee sort of colors. We've got like some caramel browns in there. There we go. So I think that's looking... Um, all right for um, we obviously put too much time into it but i think um that's what we've got there so for now i'll just name it brown as we can see there we go there we go cool right so now we can get onto the cosmetics of the stuff so we can um start adding moons the ring system since we've got all of the colors added in so we've obviously got our star we've got red orange yellow lime green we've got um our turquoise we've got our cyan we've got the um blue here we've got the um, darker blue the neptune blue we've got the purple we've got the pink the white the black, the grey, and then the brown out here. So, yeah, looking good. Or well, the brown and then the black. Sorry. No, I'm going all over the place. Grey, black, brown. There we go. Right, so looking good. Right, so that is all of our colours added in now. And they're all on slightly different orbits as well. So someone actually said as well to actually try and run this simulation. So I'm going to give it a save first, but then we'll give it a run just to see if it all stays um, in the same place. So there we go. Because I do like to build my systems with the intent that they'd actually work. So, right, there we go. So now if I click play... Obviously, you're going to want to speed up time. We'll put trail mode on. So we're just keeping on all the orbits there. So let's actually see if this simulation can actually um, get going. So, okay, there we go. So that's looking nice. Okay, some nice um, healthy movement there. Nothing's going um, out of the ordinary there. So, yeah, that's looking good. Got all of our objects in there. Okay, so how's our orbits doing? Okay, so you can see the turquoise one may have slightly changed. But as we can see, 
seems to be looking good. None of the orbits are wobbling like crazy. We can also increase it a little more. I don't want to make it too fast, though, because it always messes up if you make it too quick. We can see the green one here may have a slight... Um, change but I think I can't remember if I designed it to be like that or not but yeah either way it's looking good the lime object from last episode I was concerned that maybe that would have some problems but so far it's looking all right so that tiny little gap between the yellow and the um, green there the lime one that's looking good um try and buff it up a little bit more don't go too fast but yeah to me that's looking um all right I don't I don't see any problems with the orbits there so yeah there we go that is it um that is your suggestion so the simulation does run um as of this moment so yeah there we go so we'll slow it down and now so we can continue to edit it as well. All right, looking good. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, there we go. Right, so now I'm going to head to the objects and we can start um, adding stuff. So, yeah, the cyan one was the one that was suggested, though, um, to begin with. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the comment. Okay, so rings on cyan and an asteroid belt. Okay, so looking good here. Right, so here is cyan. Okay, so let's add some rings to it. We'll go with some, like, cyan-colored rings as well. I think that'd be quite good. So, right, we'll go with the Saturn template. Okay, and then we need to custom change the settings here. Okay, so I'm going to go about 32,000 there. And then the outer will go of about 57,000. So there we go. Um, obviously, we want manual mode. We want to go to a nice sort of cyan color. I don't want to make it too bright. So there we go. Then if I click add ring, we should get that. But obviously, it's going to make it a lot more laggy. So we're going to have to be uh, careful how many rings and stuff we add in the simulation. Otherwise, it will never run. Okay, so I'm going to make those rings a little bigger. So we're going to go to about 80,000 here like that um, i'm also going to increase this value just a little bit more like that and then add rings okay there we go it's looking good actually one thing um i could do to this guy as well so there, there are the rings all added in i'm going to pause it i'm going to give it a slight rotation source it's not going to be like uranus but it's going to be like a slightly more tilted saturn so we're going to go something like this i think that looks quite cool so from a from a far out it, it looks like this it's very tilted it's got the rings Liking the way that's looking, I have to say. So, yeah, there we go. Very nice indeed there. Alrighty. So, yeah, we'll go head back to the star now. Okay, so I believe that was the only one. And obviously, we need to add the asteroid belt as well. So, where am I going to add the asteroid belt um, is the question. So, I'm thinking it should be more in the inner area here. Maybe we could have quite a close asteroid belt. Cause it doesn't. We don't have to obviously have it like our solar system where it's like after the inner planet. So, we could have the asteroid belt, for instance, around the star and then before the first planet. So... Let's go with that. I think that could be quite um, good. So let's have a... What coloured asteroid? Okay, we could go with generic asteroids, actually, for this. But just in case anything goes wrong, I am going to save it. So there we go. Always make sure to save. Voila. Right, awesome stuff. So we got that all out of the way. Just wait for it to do its thing. Get that all saved up. Right, awesome. So now we're with the star. I guess um, since they're not orbiting anything, I guess we'll just have them as regular rings i don't think we need to customize them in any way but yeah asteroid belt so for instance if i was to add the normal asteroid belt it would add it here but i'm pretty sure that um turquoise gas giant would ruin it so i'm going to go control z that undoes our last move um just to check we'll make sure the rings are still on this one okay so yeah the rings are still there all right so yeah good thing control z works um like that okay so asteroid belt we're going to need to um check the settings in the red object because um we want to make sure it's not too close. So, okay, so one AU away. Okay, so, right, so, okay, we want to put it around the star, obviously. Right, so we're going to go with inner radius of about 0 0.5 AU, and then the outer radius will go of about 1.5, 1.25, like that. Uh, and if I click add ring, okay, so it goes in the red. Okay, so we could have the red planet in the asteroid belt. That could be quite interesting. So, it's obviously a small world. It's a hot volcanic world, so maybe it could be a hot volcanic world that gets hit by crate or hit by asteroids since it sits in the belt here. That could be quite um, good, actually. So, and then I could have it as a, a set of red rings. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, Control Z will undo that. Okay, so I'm going to go to Manual. Then we're going to have a nice sort of dark red color there. Right, but yeah, I'm going to readjust these settings because obviously, oh no, wrong, wrong object. <laughs> Control Z. Okay, so if I add them to that, that's. Um, I want to make them a little smaller. So we're going to go to one. Point one, and not 121. We want 1. 1.1 like that. So then Control Z, and then reapply them like that. So they're, they're not interfering with the orange object in any way. I think I think that's the way I want to play it. I'll go to 1 AU instead. So like that. There we go. So it's not anywhere near the orange object, but the red object is sitting right inside that asteroid belt, close to the star there. And that that red ring looking looking pretty good, I have to say. So yeah, there we go. So let's close all that down. And yeah, I'm I'm liking that. From a distance, there you go. That little evil-looking red ring around the star there. 
I'm liking it. So if we go to the red object, it's sitting right inside this asteroid belt of red objects. And I'll see. Oh no, this, oh, this isn't even the planet. I clicked on one of the um, asteroids. Okay, well, where, where's the planet at? So we want to go there. There we go. So yeah, the um, red object. Obviously, it's sitting inside here, looking very hot and menacing as well. Because remember, this is a, a Venus turned red. This is a Venus texture underneath here. And it's obviously still sitting at that 600 degree area, so it's atmosphere is showing. You can see there's massive areas of molten rock um, on the surface there, looking really good, I have to say. So yeah, there we go, liking that. So it's our, that's a super Earth as well, pretty large in size as we can see there. Awesome stuff. So there we go, second object at 108 degrees, so a very, very hot water world there, almost evaporating there. May have to increase this albedo a bit just to keep it under control though. So I'm going to buff that up a little bit more. We're going to put it to 0 0.7 AU or 6.8. Okay, there, that's fine. So you can see the hot area on there. So we can see we can check the surface grids obviously. Because if we go to our tidally locked planet, you can see it's tidally locked. We can see the surface grids of all of these. So look at the temperatures and all of these different planets. They're all different. Each one will be different just due to how it rotates. So you can see here, as we go out, you can see each object has all got different areas, which is really cool. I'm like this this uh, this is probably my favourite of the new options I added was the temperature. It's really cool, um, the way all this works. But yeah, there we go. Really really like that. All right, so now we can begin to add some moons to the objects as well. So let me just go ahead and save again, since I made that change to the orange one. So there we go. Let's get that all saved up. Right, so now we can do our last part of this system, which is adding the uh, moons in. So there we go, replace. All right, awesome stuff. So orange Earth, our first um, planet. Okay, so this one was originally based on Mars. So how about we sort of base the moons on the Martian moons as well? So we could have two sort of small asteroid sort of smaller moons and we could have one actually normal spherical moon so i'm gonna go for random small moon obviously that's that's small that's not gonna harm anything so we're gonna place it um here i'm gonna put it there so it's another fittiness um world here so there we go and obviously since they orbit the planet they also have to follow the rules of the so the rules and so they have to have the same colors um color theme on them so we're gonna go here but i'm not gonna make any of these habitable so this will be sort of like a miniature mars in a way but I don't know how warm it will be, but we, since it's got no water on it, we do not need to worry about its temperature. So we're going to do that. And there we go. So a very simple looking moon. Obviously nothing too much going on there. And it's in orbit of the main object there. So it can be a different shade of orange. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. But I will give it a slight... Let's make it slightly more orange-orange. So there we go. That's a nice shade there. Give it um, a rotate as well. Make it a little more unique. So there we go. That's our first moon. Looking good. So that's in orbit of orange there. And then we'll give it a second moon. So we'll go with a um, smaller moon as well. And that's that's way too big. So we'll go with a smaller moon. We'll have it a little further out. And then this one we're going to make very, very small. But I'm going to colour it first. Because maybe the small objects' colours affect them. I'm not, not entirely sure. So well, I'll give it the orange theme. So there we go. Surface, we want to... Yeah, we've got no, we want to remove all that. So there we go. So still fitting that orange colour scheme. And they're going to make it a lot smaller. So we're going to go 0.5. So that makes it a miniature object. And now it's got the colours saved onto it. So obviously if we close this and then reopen this, I don't think you can customize the surface. Yeah, you can't. So if you want to make a customized asteroid, you, all you need to do is cut, make it bigger, add the color, and then make it smaller again. And there you go. So there it is there. It's obviously on a slightly different orbit to the main um, orange moon there as well. But yeah, there we go. So there's two orange moons for our orange Earth, sort of based off Mars. It's got a, a bit of a climate mode going on on it as well there. So yeah, there we go. So that is that added in. So if we um, obviously click play, we need to make sure it all works. So play. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So I don't know how fast the simulation will run with all these rings. But yeah, there you go. So they look um, to be nice and um, healthy. Obviously, these aren't very large in mass. So they're not going to interrupt each other. The planet is still the dominant thing here. How large is the planet? So moons. Okay, so it's, yeah, the, the moon or the um, object should easily be able to hold those moons. And the, yeah, those orbits looking very healthy. Nothing um, bad going on there. So that's that. All right, now moving on to the yellow one, which was our tidally locked planet here so this was a very interesting one so also you can see it's 123 degrees here but on the other side very very cold if we go to our surface so yeah the main white area that's at 900 degrees but also if we move out closer to the blue zone we're going into the 300s or 200s and then the sort of normal temperatures are in the, actually the darker areas so you can see about one degree 24 degrees it's about about where just trying to get my mouse to the right area See, it's very hard to do that, but yeah, about 48 degrees. You can see right on this, right on the edge of the blue zone, that is where you're going to want to sit. So yeah, very, very strange world. This, this, this surface here, that's obviously the hottest part. This is at 900 degrees. So in theory, this is the hottest planet in the system, I want to say. I think it is, yeah, 900 degrees there. Obviously, the other side is completely freezing. But just that area in the heat, that makes it the hottest planet, 
I think, because I don't think the... If we check the red one, for instance. So this goes up to... No, okay, a 1,000. Okay, never mind. But yeah, the yellow one is up there as one of the hottest in the system due to that white zone being tidy locked. So yeah, pretty crazy there. And this one, we're going to go over one moon. So let's go ahead and add it in. We'll go over the larger moon this time. So it's sort of like the Earth and the moon, actually. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and place that in. Obviously, I do not want this to be too large in size. So I'm going to give it a slight debuff. Uh, also, this has got two masses of it. Okay, so I should easily be able to hold this then. Um, so yeah, there we go. This one I'm going to go with... Yeah, we could try and terraform it up, actually. I'm going to give it a go. It may not go to plan, but yeah, there we go. So let's get its settings all set up. So yeah, there we go. Get the colours um, nicely done. Oh, this one's got city lights on it. Cool. Nice random spawn there. So there we go. There's our um, things there. And obviously surface. We need to add that atmosphere to it. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's quite a small object. So we'll go, yeah, we'll go with um, a smaller sort of atmosphere. Actually, let's go over one ATM. Can it handle that? So there we go. One ATM. Obviously, we need to close, reopen the menu so we can change the atmosphere there. Like so. There we go. City lights on it too. So it's like the colony of the um, uninhabitable, tidy lock world. So there we go. Um, I'm going to increase the water on it. So just a bit more. There we go. It's got some polar caps, and it seems to be fine the way it is, I want to say. I mean, 8 degrees. I mean, if it stays like that, that's fine. But I'm assuming it will change, eh? Because it's smoking up, so we need to give it one massive moon. That should hopefully fix. Oh, it's really bigger. Okay, five moons. Should be able to sit okay there. No? Still don't have it? Okay, let's uh, try and give it a size increase. Is that going to... No? Still don't have it? Okay, interesting. How big does it need to go for us to get it to work? So we'll keep an eye on, make sure we don't break anything. How large do you need to go? 15 moons there you go but can the planet hold 15 i mean it's got i mean it should work actually so we'll go auto orbit just resell it so i'm hoping that will just sit comfortably there then so eight degrees it's getting a little cold it's zero is it warm up from zero okay it does perfect that's awesome so five degrees we'll just let it sit there so it does warm up from zero and it's still increasing okay so cool so that world is fully colonized up um, let's check its life likelihood actually so down here 84 and 82 okay decent stats it's in orbit of the entirely um, lot world there so a nice combination we've got our earth-like world then we've got our very extreme temperature world here cool so that's all looking good um and i don't think the mass of this should have any problem with um the planet there i think that should all be fine the way it is i'm gonna give it a slight increase in distance though so we're gonna um yeah we're gonna move it Give it a slightly further distance, just to make sure it's not too close. And yeah, pretty cool. We got city lights on it as well. Nice random spawn there. So it's a nice colony in orbit of um, the main planet there. So there we go. That is the yellow one done. Very happy with that. So there we go. Let's just um, give it another save then. So we don't want anything going wrong. So nice job. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's really good. So replace. Okay, looking good indeed there. Awesome stuff. Right, now moving on to the lime object. This one is a dwarf planet, so I'm not expecting this to be able to handle much moons. So um, for this guy, we'll go have two simple asteroids, but I'm going to make them small moons first. So we're going to place the first one there. They are obviously way too big for this thing to handle. So we're going to go one, two, and we'll go three as well. We'll go the third one out there. So first of all, we need to, yeah, we need to make these guys coloured before making them smaller. So there we go. So let's get those colours all set up. Like so. That's a little too yellow, actually. So there we go. So that's one. Um, interface as well. Absolutely. So that's... There we go. That's that one done. Then the next one... This one's already a micro object, actually. So there we go. So yeah, we'll have to make that slightly bigger, actually. So times two. There we go. So that's now a normal object. So then we go close. Reopen it. There we go. So we can access the color options. Yeah, it's kind of weird how you have to make it bigger to customize it. Hopefully they fix that in the future. That one's got water on it. I'm not sure that'll last, though. So then obviously we need to go 0 0.5 again, make it a micro object. And it actually still has the water on it. Oh, if that stays there, that'd be cool. But yeah, there we go. So um, this guy's 0 0.5. There we go, make it nice and small. And then the last moon of the day over here for this one. So let's get it all set up nicely. Looking good. It's a little too green, actually. So let me get a little bit more yellow in there. Um, there we go. So get that little lime area done. Looking good. And then high elevation will go white on this one. Why not? So there we go. So if we click play, this planet, or this dwarf planet, should easily be able to handle those moons since we'll see if we... Um, oh, one of them got torn up. Oh, no. We got one destroyed. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's a lot of debris to clean up. So we're going to have to... Um, I'll just delete all of them. So we're going to do that. Delete. Okay, there we go. So that should have got rid of all the particles. Okay, cool. So, yeah, no particles in there. We don't want any of those hovering around. 
Okay, so we'll just, I guess it's um, three moons wasn't meant to be then. But yeah, that seems to all be looking good. This one's all frozen up, but it's still lime green underneath. So that's fine. That meets the requirements. And this guy will make you a little smaller as well. So there we go. Need to make it a micro object. So let's, come on, keep going smaller. Come on. Let's just use this option and that's better. Okay, there we go. So in the 200s, very, very small. And then this one here is all frozen up. Let's, let's remove some of that water. There you go. So we can have a bit of water and there we go. So it's got ice, water, the lime green surface, looking good. So we've got two little moons in orbit of our, line, our very hot lime world here. So it's a very, very hot dwarf planet at almost 500 degrees. So if we check the stats here on the surface, you see it's got some very interesting um, look to it. Very, very interesting with the way it appears here. Is it because it's on a tilt? Yes, it is. That's why. So as you can see here, right now the south, oh, I'm guessing that's the North Pole, is white hot as we can see at the top. But obviously as we move to the middle of the planet, which is this darker area, like the nighttime side. Obviously, it's going to be um, blacked out since it's the colder area, but it still rotates, so it's not like the tidy lock planet where it's only on one side. Since this object still rotates, that temperature will change. So if we speed it up, okay, a little faster. Actually, does this thing rotate? It should do. Oh, no, it takes three... Oh, no, it takes four years. Oh, no, not, no rotational is 357 days. So it's a very, very slow rotator. But so obviously, it's going to make those... Um, it's going to make that surface a very weird sort of um, setup it's got going on there. But obviously, throughout the year, that would change. But yeah, there we go. So we'll leave it like that. So that's a pretty unique one as well. And then obviously, it's moons looking good. I mean, they're not going to affect each other. They're so minimal. They're not going to have a problem. Look at the uh, heat that's going on. All the... Uh, temperature on these quite um quite interesting but yeah they go they're very small they're gonna have no effect on the main object here so we look at the moon 40 moons these guys are probably not even one moon yeah they're, they're, they're just so insignificant so they're those guys our little dwarf planet's got a moon there now we're heading to the green earth this was one of my favorites if i remember right so here we go looking oh so that is a nice looking object they've got the green atmosphere it's got the snow and ice oh it's got the white clouds that's why we called it green earth that's a nice looking object. Let's check its stats. This must have some of the best stats in here. Um, 93. Yeah, so it's got it in the 90s for the similarities. Yeah, very, very cool indeed. This guy will go with one big moon. We could have a gas moon. That could be quite interesting. Should we have a gas moon? Gas. Oh, that's obviously a bit too big. So, um, yeah, we'll make a, a small. We'll go with a normal moon. Place it in. And then we'll make it a gas giant. Or a gas moon. More of a gas dwarf. So, do that. Will it survive or will it smoke up? So let's see here. The cat's looking all right the way it is. I'm hoping that won't smoke up. So we'll obviously have to check. And it looks to be okay. Yeah, not smoking up. Oh, I think its albedo must be very high since it's not warming up or anything. So yeah, very high albedo on there. I'm going to increase it very, very high. It's going to be very reflective. But yeah, there we go. So that looks fine. So we need to close it, reopen it. So we should be able to customize the bands. Yes, we can. Awesome stuff. So we can have a green gas giant in here as well. So, yeah, very nice um, mix of colors in here. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We could sort of make it match the planet with having some white bands in there as well. So, if I go one, two, and have the north and south as white, and then have the inner bands as the green color. Yeah, a nice combination of um, colors in here. So, there we go. Have a lighter green, a darker green, sort of all to um, mix nicely together there. And that gives us this. So, it's got white and north and south. And then it's a nice mixture of greenness. I think I'm going to roll with that. I'm liking the way it's looking. I may make, actually, you know, one thing we could do is have it as a very, very light green. So it's not, in theory, it isn't white. It's just a very, very light green. A very, very pale pastel sort of green. So there we go. I'm liking that. And then these greens are going to get a little lighter. I don't want it to blend nicely. So, yeah, how are we doing here? Looking, yeah, there we go. Like that. Like, I'm happy with that. So there we go. We've got a gas moon in orbit of the green earth there. So pretty interesting there. So, yeah, there we go. Looking good. So, now let's just see. Hopefully, it um, all sticks nicely. And, yeah, it's looking good. Nothing's... Obviously, we're not running it for that long. But, yeah, it, it's not smoking up. It probably would It would have started doing that by now. So, yeah, very nice indeed. What was that? I just shot past that red object. Oh, it must be one of the asteroids. Oh. Why is the asteroid belt doing that? It's, it's launched out. That's, um, that's strange, isn't it? That is, that's very strange. <laughs> What's going on there, then? Very, very weird. Okay, I guess we're going to have to remove that. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to control D. So, we're going to have to reapply the rings to the cyan. But that's very strange why that's doing that. Because the cyan object here, that that's rings haven't escaped. Yes. Oh. Okay, that's weird why it's doing that. But the ring... Maybe there's a glitch with the rings or something. Maybe I'll, add the, I'll just add the rings at the end then. Okay, so never mind. We'll have to remove them for now. I don't know why it's doing that. The planets are not position locked or anything. So, that's very strange. 
Um, so there we go. So we've got our green moon added. I'm going to throw another save in as well. We'll have to just re-add those um, rings. So there we go. Done. Looking good. So there we go. All right. Uh, this object here, I'm not going to have moons for this one due to it's a more extreme orbit. But the cyan here now. Okay, so yeah, we'll just we'll add rings to this after, or um, yeah, we'll add rings after. But yeah, we're gonna go have two moons for the cyan. So we're gonna sort of try and line it up with the way the planet is tilted. So I'm gonna go like that. So we're gonna go one and then two further out. And actually, one thing I'm gonna do with this one is we're gonna have a Venus-like object around here. So I'm actually just gonna spawn in yeah one of the old templates. So we're gonna go all the way down here. Where are we here? Let's uh, go down. Okay, we're gonna go with. Okay, we'll use the light blue to start off with, but yeah, we're going to want the... Yeah, we'll, go, we'll just go with the regular blue then. So we're going to place that there, and then delete this. So like that, and then this will need to orbit the planet. Then we're going to make it a nice cyan blue. So there we go. It can be quite a large moon, it doesn't matter. Um, and then this guy as well, we're going to get it. Ooh, settings all set up nicely. We're going to have that nice light blue there. Nice shade indeed. Let's have white on that one actually, and then the interface... Nicely all set up there, and then we'll see this guy as well. We're going to need to do that. So let's get all that set up. But we'll see the clouds. Look at that. Oh, it almost looks like Uranus now with the way it is there. Nice light blue color theme on it. Obviously, a very vibrant looking blue compared to Uranus. But yeah, there you go. So that's in orbit of Cyan over there. And then the surface underneath will just um, change that up nicely as well. So yeah, there we go. Got all of the colors um, added on. So if you want to look underneath, that is what it looks like. So it's a little uh, glitch due to the old surface. Um, on it but yeah that's fine because we're not going to be looking under there anyway so there are its two moons looking good so i'm not going to bother naming them or anything but yeah there we go so there are those guys we click play hopefully that'll run nicely so yeah there we go yeah i'm not seeing the orbits wobble or anything so that is looking good awesome right so done right so now we can move out from cyan and we can head to the penguin world now as recommended by one of you so here it is here so obviously it's the blue world Obviously completely frozen up as we can see here. I'm going to try and remove a little more of the water on it. I think there's maybe a little too much. I want a bit more of that blue colour going through. So let's just try and get the correct area here. How's it doing? Come on, I want to get a little more of the size than that. How much am I going to have to click this? I think I see some areas appearing. It's just gone flashlight mode so we can just get a full look of it. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so there's no blue showing yet. So I'm going to have to keep clicking this. Come on. Any Anything going to show up? Do I have to completely remove it? Okay, looks like I will. Okay, so now it's doing that again. That's, that's pretty funny while it's doing that. So if I click play, I'm guessing it's going to freeze. Oh, that does look cool the way it looks right now. I mean, if I can keep it like that, that'd be lovely. But yeah, it looks like it's going to... Yeah, it's all freezing up. So if it just stays like that, that'd be nice. So Penguin World, there you go. That looks really awesome now, actually. So, right, there it is there. This one I'm going to have sitting by itself as well. I want to leave that... I don't want any tidal heating or anything on it. So there we go. Now we're moving on to the good old Neptune. I think the um, only thing we need here is a Triton. I think we can quickly toss one of those in. So where are we? Let's use the um, custom Triton. So where, where are we here? Let's use this old one here for Mark. So let's go ahead and uh, spawn it in there. Just nicely. I'm not going to have it like doing a retrograde orbit. We'll just put it in there nicely. But obviously, since it's got to be blue themed, we're going to sort of like recustomize it completely. So it'll be completely different to its original look anyway. So there we go. Just using it as a template, really. Since it's got to be blue, it's got to match the theme. So it's going to be a blue ver or blue Triton. Should be quite interesting. <laughs> um, the atmosphere, I'll keep the same. And then, obviously, we're going to call it, yeah, the blue. But just call it Blue Triton. <laughs> there we go. It's a pretty interesting one, that. But, yeah, there you go. And I'll see the um, this. We're going to have it like that. So, there we go. There we are. And then, um, oh, no, I didn't want to do the atmosphere. Oh, no, let's put that back. There we go. So, it's roughly there. And then, interface. That's what we want. There we go. So blue triton around Neptune there, looking good. So there we go. Now heading on to the Volans out here, the next one. So this one is completely frozen. Pretty um, interesting one here. Yeah, minus 97 degrees. So there it is. This is a nice looking purple. All right, so what should we do here? All right, so I'm going to go with one. We'll go with one moon on this one. Let's go with the regular moon, actually. I want to have a little play around with this. So I'm going to put it up there. Very weird orbit for this. And then we're going to make it purple. So I'm going to go to appearance interface or surface colors we're going to put on custom and now we can customize it so we can make it pretty interesting here so purple oh wow oh okay oh wow okay that's looking cool so oh okay now that that's pretty extreme indeed isn't it and look at some the white areas oh that looks oh, that looks awesome boy that is wow so you can have a proper cratered looking object oh look at that oh that is really cool 
So I haven't had a go. We can have a, we can have a slight purple tint on it. Nothing too much, but wow, I'm liking that. So all, all the craters and stuff are on it there. Uh, that looks really cool. Wow. So there we go. And then it's just add its colors on. So there we go. Got it all nicely um, in there. So looking good. So that is the moon. And that should orbit that completely with no problems. So yeah, I, don't, I doubt I doubt that's, this planet's going to have any problems with four Earths. So if one Earth can hold the moon, I'm pretty sure four, almost five Earths could do it easily. So right there we go there. Right next up, we're heading to Akam over here. So this is the pink gas giant. This one we will... I guess we could add rings to this as well. So we'll go back and do that at the end. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we're going to go with three moons for this guy. So rocky planet. I guess we could have one of those. So we're going to go one. Then we're going to have the second one out here. And then the third one there. So we've got one, two, three. Right, and then our moons. We're going to go ahead and um, get their colors set up nicely. So we're going with pink now. So let's get all of those added in. This one's got an atmosphere built with it as well, so we'll, um, we'll make use of that. So it's a very um, crazy color there. Right, and then, um, yeah, just go full pink out. So there we go. That's one moon. There we go. Nicely does it. There we go, two. Second moon. This one also is all with an atmosphere. Let's go with a lighter sort of shade this time around. And then um, let's re-add all of the colors. So there we go. This one, I'm going to keep the high elevation on the um, white there. Has a little bit of difference to it. And then the last moon at the very end here, we're also going to go ahead and um, change this one up as well. This one doesn't have an atmosphere this time, though. So let's see what we end up with here. So there we go. Right, and yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. So looking good. So there are our moons. So if we want to get a closer look at them, so we've got our first moon. This is the pink atmosphere. Second moon. And then the third moon over here. So there we go. All different in appearance. Voila, and then we'll see if we click play. I doubt we'll have any problems. So there we go. This thing is pretty large. Oh, no, we have got a little more um, going on here, a little more tension. So we're actually going to slightly debuff these. We're going to put this to 0.5 Earths. This one we're going to put to 0.24 Earths. And then the last one, it's already fairly small anyway. So Earth, 0.7. Okay, so that should make it a little more comfortable out here. I'm going to divide that by two. There we go. Okay, so it's slightly wobbly, but that's still stable. Um, unless you speed it up like crazy fast then it will just break anyway but okay so that's alright looking good so that is the pink one now heading to the yeah the white one is next so this is the white pearl I'm going to leave that alone as well since it's quite small uh, this guy again I'm going to have these sort of like dwarf objects they're not going to have anything trays 2b I think that should stay alone but lastly the brown one we are going to have some moons around this so yeah we go last object today I, I reckon rings would look good on this as well so we're definitely going to have a, a little spin with that um, I'm also going to buff its size up. We're going to go... I'm going to make it like a Saturn size object. So, that's about Saturn size. There we go. Right. So, then moons. We're going to go with... Yeah, we'll go with um, one. We'll have two quite close to each other, actually. So, one, two, three, four. And then the fifth moon will have very far out there. So, there we go. All right. And I think if it's going to be Saturn based, we're going to have to definitely have a Titan object in here. So, that's definitely something I'm going to... Um, try and achieve so there we go let's get all our colors um, set up nicely though i'm not going to spend too much time um trying to get all these out because these just need to fit their purpose so we've got some different shades in there they don't all need to be the same so there we go i feel like there's all different shades it doesn't have to be the same as long as it still meets the original criteria of the color it should be fine so there we go um this one i'm going to remove the water from there we go Right, next moon out this one here it's already got the trail color it's already got the colors all um locked down by the looks of it so we go go have a white make it more of like a chocolatey looking brown as well so there we go i'm gonna leave that i'm gonna leave that the way it is it's probably gonna freeze anyway next moon so there we are all right looking good and then next color that's the main sort of color and then the last one over there so that's a nice um, mix of colors in there and then there we go so that's that one and then the very last moon um, we'll just get that one also that we'll add another one for the Titan like object, but yeah, there we go So some um, add all those in okay. That's pretty much all sorted out remove that Okay, so they're all um, yeah, they're all are definitely brown in my eyes. So that's definitely the closest color they resemble to So there we go. Let's remove the water from this. That's a little little much too white on us so we change that up. So there we go That's looking better and obviously the two closer moons nothing wrong with those So yeah, now we're gonna just we'll just go have Titan itself. Actually, we're gonna place Titan there Okay, right, and then this one we know so we can customize up to so interface. 
Um, no, so atmosphere, there we go. So we're going to make it a brownish, dark brownish orange. So there we go. So zoom into it, and that's what it appears as. So obviously the atmosphere is obviously a lot less. That's what it looks like underneath. So there we go. But yeah, one thing we'll do is um, surface color. Custom. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, very weird. I guess Titan's quite a broken a broken one then. Okay, okay. we'll just leave it the way it is, default. It's already a brownish sort of shade anyway, so that's fine. Um, we'll just leave it like that. Cool. Interface, and we'll just um, change that up as well. It's already, um, already sort of getting the colors we need anyway. But there we go. So that's a modified Titan there. Um, mix in our criteria. So there we go. So if we click play, hopefully all these moons will um, live nicely. So there we go. Yeah, that's speeding up. That's fine. All right, looking good. So that is our job done now. So let's just go ahead and pause it and make sure everything is working correctly. So we'll head back to um, the pink one. Just make sure the moons on here are working all right. And then we can finish up. So there we go. So that's okay. They're all looking fine. Yep, nothing too wrong there. One of the orbits was slightly bent, but that should be fine. Uh, Neptune, obviously, Triton should be completely fine around that. So there it is there. Yep, no problems there. Okay, the Cyan one. How are you doing? Okay, yep, Moon's looking fine. So that's that one. We need to have re the rings to that. Green Earth, 20 degrees. That is definitely one of my favourites in here. So there we go, that's fine. Uh, Lime, we added some there. That's like 515 degrees now. So they're fine. Yep, good stuff. Yellow, there we go. Like so, that's all right. Cool, that's all on there. Orange Earth is our last object as well to check because that, that one has moons. And the red one obviously doesn't have moons at all. Okay, awesome. So now we can get and add our um, asteroid belt back. So, right, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. So I remember what I um, added for this. So asteroid belt. Let's customize that. Manual, dark red, absolutely. Um, okay, then we wanted um, 0 0.5 and then 1. Like that. Add ring. Voila. Oh, no, it's a little too far. No, outer radius is one. No, no, we want that a little more. That's obviously too much. So um, let's go control Z, undo that. So one, oh no, 1.5. Add ring. You can add, no, add that. There we go. Still, no, still too close. No, no, it's not enough. Okay, two. Control Z. Okay, there we go. The red one is now in there. Awesome. And then this one, AU, I'm actually going to put that to one. I think that's what I got wrong. So. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, so the red ring's in there. Looking good. Right, now we're going to head to our Cyan world. We're going to add its awesome looking rings back. So we wanted Saturn rings for this. Rightio. There we go. Right, so this one, yep. So actually, no, oh, we could try Uranus rings. Let's try that. So manual, color. Obviously, you want a dark Cyan. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so we're going to put it to about 34,000. And then the other number should already be fine. So like that, voila, there you go. Actually, no, no, I'm not, I'm, no I want it further. 42,000. I want a nice gap between the planet and the rings. So there we go. Looking good. So there's our rings back on the cyan. Right, awesome stuff. Let's close all that down. All right, what are we adding next? So Neptune. I guess we could have a very faint ring system around Neptune like it re does in reality. Uranus. The size is already fine. Manual. We're going to go over very, very dark blue for this one so there we go and then those ring settings are already fine so we click on neptune done and let's see here yeah very very faint as we can see still um yeah i'm gonna increase that value a bit so we're gonna go a little higher so thirty thousand. there we go so re-add them there we go actually no no actually i'm actually gonna decrease the size here so i'm gonna lower it 0 0.5 how does that look so a lot a lot more of a faint smaller sort of ring segment there nothing too extreme for neptune there so i don't want it to have anything um mad sized so okay, about seven no about 65 about that. and then add that to that there we go yeah i'm liking that so you're very very faint i'll see since neptune does have faint rings in reality as well so nothing too um, much there right there but they are there though so that's good right so there is neptune right i didn't want to add any around volans akam no no oh, no no i will go with rings no we will do it on here this one, I'm going to have Jupiter-like rings. I'm going to have a very faint sort of ring. It's already sort of Jupiter-sized as well, so we should be able to add uh, rings on it quite nicely. So, yeah, there we go. So, inner radius, outer radius. Okay, so, for instance, if we added those, that's what we'd get. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that. So, Control z and then we're going to go manual, and then we'll go with a dark sort of shade of pink here. So, something like that. There we go. Right, so then add ring. There we go. So, it's basically just a Jupiter ring. So, a nice single ring there. So, that is that one. Right, and then lastly, we're going to head to the brown object at the very edge of the system here. So there we go. 
How far is this? We can start to see some lag appearing as well. See, so we've got a lot of rings in here. That's why I don't usually go with rings, but that's fine. Okay, can we open the menu, please? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Doesn't want to open the menu. Very, very strange. I'll try one more time. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just because I had the other menu open. Okay, so this is about 717 years away. Almost 200 AU then. All right, cool. But yeah, the, the simulation is getting very, very laggy. So I'll make two copies of this. I'll have the ring version and then the non-ring version. But yeah, this last guy, we're definitely going with Saturn rings. Let's go ahead and select it. Okay, cool. So then, okay, we'll go about 40,000 on the inner radius. Outer radius will keep the same. Actually, I will half that, 0 0.5. Manual. Then we'll have very, very dark rings. As you know, automatic would be fine, actually, uh, from from material there, because it's already, the regular ring's already brown anyway, so add them in there, and there you go. Job done. As you can see, the simulation is very, very laggy now, so apologies for that, but it's just because the amount of rings we got in here. But yeah, there we go, so I'm going to make a save of the simulation, and then we're going to delete the rings, and then make a second save. So yeah, there we go. Let's click on the star. Come on, click on it. There you go. Right, looking good. Yeah, very, very laggy, as we can see, so apologies. Um, yeah, there we go. So that is all in there nicely. All right. Yeah, very, very, very slow now. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and save it. So there we go. All right, save. So very, very laggy. All right, there we go. So Rainbow Remastered. And I'm just going to call it Rings. There we go. So Rings. So save that. Come on, save, please. Don't crash on me now. Okay, there we go. Then we go Control D, delete all those. Back to the nice smooth gameplay. If we're going to go ahead and just call it the Rainbow Remastered again. Like so. Voila. And then replace. Okay, so that should be fine. So we should have two copies of this now. So replace. Let that do its thing. Okay, so if we just check and we search it up. It let me search it. I forgot they moved the search bar. Okay, there we go. So we've got yeah, Rainbow Remastered, Rainbow with Rings, and then we've got the original Rainbow system there. But yeah, there we go. So that is... um. That is it all done now. So yeah, really, really um, cool system. I think definitely one of the coolest systems I've made for a long time. We've got a nice selection of different types of objects in here. But yeah, let's just get a lineup of our full um, thing now since we are fully completed here. Okay, so our largest object is actually Trace 2B, the all blacked out gas giant there. Then we've got pink in second, turquoise, brown, cyan, blue, red, purple, yellow, green, regular blue, orange then we got oh, these are the moons now but yeah as we can see they go all the way down there then we've got the um, white objects the gray objects but yeah there we go so very very nice this so each object is very different from the other none of them look the same i mean i guess you could say some of the brown moons do but yeah each of the planets they're completely different in appearance and yeah really really cool i think my favorite has got to be the green earth i just love the green clouds the um ice caps the water the cloud i just it's that looks awesome yellow one as well definitely a fan of the tidy locking on it See, that is um, definitely up there as well. Obviously, Neptune's going to be cool because it's um, obviously my custom object of it. Really like the cyan and the brown objects as well. I really like the way they came out. So, yeah, there are those guys. And also the penguin. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the penguin world. Really like the way that looks. It's a little glitchy looking, but I like it. I think that looks really, really cool. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is the Rainbow System remastered, fully complete in three episodes. I think that's actually, um, I think that took less episodes than the original Rainbow System. But yeah, there we go. So I really hope you enjoyed this um, three-part series of the Rainbow System. I know I certainly did. This was really, really cool. Definitely a blast to make. And yeah, thanks to the, everyone who um, sent feedback for the um, system as well. Really, really cool indeed. And yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. And obviously, guys, a massive thank you for supporting this series as well because obviously we did the original series. Series, and then we did the rainbow as the finale and then we done the remastered series with well, this is the finale so for now i am i guess this will be the last car episode of rainbow solar system unless there's anything specific that you guys want me to do as well let me know down below in the comments maybe any imp maybe we could do a part four of this one if you guys want to see me add anything else so yeah i'll, um, I'll be looking to the comments um, on this video if you guys have any other suggestions and maybe we could do a part four but for now um, I think this will be the last um, part where I have any impact on the um, system. So obviously if you want to see another episode, um, all of the stuff will be coming from you guys as well. So we can sort of make it a group system then. But yeah, there we go. Very, very happy with this. And yeah, just a massive thank you again for supporting this series. It's quite doing this series for over a good year now, the uh, Coloured Solar Systems. Yeah, really, really cool. Very, very happy with this system. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video for the final part. Um, presumably of um, the Rainbow Solar System Remastered. So you can go for 50 likes and also subscribe if new helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers. As we're over halfway there from 11,000 now, so just a huge thanks to you all for that as 
well, but yeah, with that all out the way, guys, I c actually, I could send you guys copies of this as well. So if you want a copy of this um, system, make sure to join my Discord server. It'll be exclusive to Discord members if you want this system. So if, you, if you're on my Discord server and you want this system, let me know and I can just send it to you. Um, yeah, I have no problem sending this. I created all the stuff in here. So yeah, really, really... Um, nice stuff indeed here i mean everything here is pretty much altered from its original apart from the neptune i guess but yeah really really nice um list of objects um right there we have so yeah really really cool but yeah that's everything guys if you want to copy make sure to do that uh, join the discord and yeah that is everything so make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye